Finding a purpose in the work we do or the way that we spend our time which resonates deeply with who we think we are is an essential part of knowing who we are. That in a way, if you don't know what you can do, you don't really know what you might be. Your human talent, human ability, like the world's natural resources, is often buried deep. It's not just lying around on the surface. You have to go looking for it. And that's why I think so many people don't know what their talents are because they've never actually come upon them yet. One of the things that stops us doing what we might want to do is our own self-censorship. A fear that will fall flat on our face, that, well, you know, it, me, I'm not even entitled to it. A second, I think, is other people's attitudes, friends and family, often well-intentioned. There are all forms of tacit disapproval that, that prevent us moving forward. It can be the raised eyebrow of, of a friend, you know, or a, a group culture. What, you, seriously? What, you would do that? Oh, okay. Or cultural constraints about the roles of women or the communities. So I'm not trying to say that this is easy, but I'm saying it's essential and that there are things we can do, particularly in the systematic process that we put forward through education and organization of communities, that can assist it. You know, the, the old model is predicated on a particular view of intelligence and talent, and I think for the future we need to evolve systems of education and of organizational planning and of community development, which are based on a model of diversity rather than of conformity. We still run our education systems as if life is linear. We run them as if it's mechanistic. This is one of the reasons so many things get phased out of education, because people say, well, you'll never get a job if you do that. Education is not a mechanistic process, and organizations are not mechanisms. You know, if you look at the management chart of most organizations, it looks like a wiring diagram. And it all kind of suggests that these are like mechanisms, and they're not. Human life and human communities are much more like organisms in the sense that we flourish under certain conditions and we fade under certain conditions. And our success is always synergistic with our environment. It is about human flourishing. But it's also about recognizing that education and our communities are part of cultures and they're not independent and insulated from them. But at the heart of it, the elemental bit of it, is a different conception of human possibility. That finding your passion does change everything.